to a big bowl, add one cup and a third cup of coconut flour. Add in one cup plus a fourth cup of applesauce. Add in one full cup of maple syrup, a fourth teaspoon of sea salt, and add in one full banana, two tablespoons of vanilla extract, and last, add in one cup of cocoa powder. And then go ahead and just mix that together until it's fully mixed. And then once it's mixed, it should be crumbly, like a crumbly batter, and that's perfectly fine. That's the way you want it to look. Go ahead and grease your pan with some vegan butter. I use a tablespoon amount. And go ahead and start placing your brownie batter in there. Make sure to flatten all your brownie batter down with an offset spatula. If you don't have one of those, just use a spoon. Make sure it's all even on each side and nothing uneven. It has to be perfectly flat. Go ahead and place it into the oven that is 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Cook it for about 45 minutes. And once complete, pull it out and place it on the stove top and let it cool down completely before serving. For this whipped cream topping we're about to make, you're going to need one full can of chilled coconut cream that has been in your fridge. It should be hard and firm on top, that's the way you should have it. Go ahead and put it into a large bowl and start using a whisk that is an automatic one and start breaking some chunks down and smushing it down. You're going to want to whisk it just like whipped cream. How you would make whipped cream, it's very similar. You're going to do it for a very long time, start low, work your way up. Now go ahead and add one tablespoon and a half of maple syrup. Add in one tablespoon of beet juice or you can use cherry juice or red food coloring, depends on what you like. I like natural stuff. And go ahead and whisk it again and place it into your fridge to cool. After you cooled it down, pull it out of the refrigerator and re-whip it and go ahead and place it on top of your delicious brownie cake and smear it all around with an offset spatula or use a knife Whichever is easier, but I'm going to tell you, this coconut whipped cream makes it taste so good with the coconut in it. So delicious, so easy. If you have any questions, leave it below in the comments and I'll be so happy to answer it. Mm -hmm. 